Hi everybody, thank you so very much for joining me again. This week, I've got Max with me, and of course my name is Sharon, and we are working through our toddler curriculum, and this week, I don't know if you can guess, or if you remember from Greeting Circle, but we are talking about caterpillars and butterflies. And of course, Max, being Max, who likes to make people smile and make people laugh, has dressed up as a butterfly. And we just used paper plates, so that could be something that you could do at home too, if you ask a family member or moms or dads to help you out with that. If I can do it, it's really easy, I think. Right, Max? We just have to use our imagination and there's no right way or wrong way. Right. So, to carry on with our discussion about caterpillars and butterflies, we have a story to share with you today. And I've got it right here. And it is called The Crunching Munching Caterpillar. So let's have a look through this story. It is written by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle. And it looks very interesting. Let's have a look, Max. I'm excited. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks, he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when, when what do you think? When what? What's happening? Let's have a look. Bzzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. And he showed he showed the caterpillar his wings. Can you see them up there? Oh, I'd like some of those, said caterpillar. They look very exciting. Bumblebee flew into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. I'd love to fly like that, said caterpillar. Well, you can't, said bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry. So he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. He looks like a very happy Caterpillar, doesn't he? I think so too, Max. Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when... When what? What do you think will happen? When? when I don't know, something about the birds, maybe? <gasps> Sparrow landed beside him. Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, said Caterpillar. But I'm too fat and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret knowing smile. Who knows? One day you will fly. Light as a feather, like me. But now, Kitterpa but now Caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. So Sparrow had some words with him. And then a butterfly came and landed beside him too and had some words. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As butterfly flew off into the night sky, Caterpillar fell into a deep, deep sleep. What do you think is going to happen? Caterpillar slept all through the winter and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky 
above the tall trees. Wow. He dreamed he was a dandelion clock drifting toward the sun. He dreamed he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and he stretched. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think, Max? I think you might be right. Let's find out. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings. Great, big, wonderful butterfly wings. Wow, said young butterfly, I'm flying. I'm really flying. So Caterpillar turned into a butterfly. Wow. You were right, Max. You kind of guessed that. I think we had missed one page in the story, though, and I'm sorry for that. I see that there's a, a spot that was missing. When Sparrow came and landed and then Butterfly landed, we never actually heard what Sparrow said. I wonder what he could have said. He looks like he's got his beak open really wide. I bet you he might have said something like, maybe you're tired, just like what the, what the Butterfly had said. Who knows, but that's a fun story. That's a really fun story. And I have something I just wanted to show you too, just to show you the sequence of the caterpillar life cycle. There's a little teeny tiny egg sitting on a leaf. Teeny tiny egg. Not even the size of your pinky nail. So teeny tiny. That teeny tiny egg turns into a caterpillar. See that fuzzy caterpillar with lots of legs crunching and munching along that leaf? Yeah. And then, and then what happens? Then that caterpillar goes to sleep, wraps himself up in a cocoon, and spends the winter there. And just like in the story, when springtime emerges, it's a beautiful caterpillar. And Max wanted to share a story too. Do you remember what you wanted to tell me about this, Max? Yeah, he wanted to say that when he was at his daycare center, he remembers at Bright Path Clayton Hills, he remembers that these cocoons started to wiggle when the, cat, when the butterflies were ready to come out of them. And he remembers that the butterflies he did see were also this color. And they had a special name. They were a special type of butterfly. Do you remember what they were called, Max? Paint, painted ladies. Painted ladies. That's what these butterflies were called that Max remembers. So that's very interesting, isn't it, Max? I think so. Before we go on, I just wanted to remind us all of some of the signs that we've learned um, for the last couple of weeks, if you remember. Do you remember what fly was? Fly was when you take your arm like this, kind of make a C shape or a cup and try to catch it. That's fly. What was the other one we wanted to learn? Oh, B. Remember that? So B is like buzzing, bzz, and then fly away. Now this week, do you remember that? Caterpillars, you just take your squiggly finger and it's like a caterpillar crawling along a branch. That's right, that's the sign for caterpillar. And then butterflies, it's my favorite one, very easy. Get your thumbs ready, are they ready? Give them a wiggle. Now you're 
going to flip them around, lock them up, and it's a beautiful butterfly. And those are our signs. Caterpillar and butterfly are the new ones this week. And let's just have a quick look at this. Can you guys, can you see that photo? It just shows things a little bit up close. And it talks about the caterpillar. You see the caterpillar, it grows up and it changes into that beautiful butterfly. What's your favorite color there, Max? You mentioned it before. Was it the yellow or the orange color? Yeah, you said it was the orange. That very, vi very vibrant orange color right there. Which do you think is faster, the caterpillar or the butterfly? Yeah, probably the butterfly because it can move quickly and fly over lots of areas faster than a, than a caterpillar can crawl, that's for sure. So caterpillars are crunching, munching, leaf munching machines, aren't they? They, they gobble up a lot. Do you guys want to play a little bit of a game now? We created one just in case. Do you want to play, Max? Okay. For this game, I need you to think back over the different bugs that we've talked about. If you remember, we've talked about flies and mosquitoes and bees and ladybugs and ants. And this week we're talking about butterflies and caterpillars, right, Max? Okay. So on my board here, I have some cards that I taped upside down. And I'm going to flip them over and I want you just to guess what the bug is, what kind of a bug, what its name is, okay? Let's start with, you tell me when to stop. Stop, okay. Let's see, what is that one? Oh, I think you'll guess it. That's the crunching, munching caterpillar. You guessed it right. Good job. Okay. Zoom, 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 stop. Oh, this one's an interesting one. Let's see if you remember. What is that one? Do you remember, Max? Is that a bee? No, it's a fly. You're right. That is a fly. It's got its wings. Six legs, great big eyes, and we see flies probably in our home sometimes and lots of times outside. They're always looking for food too. Let's look for another one. Oh, zoom, 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 this one. What is it? Let's see. Oh, it's so beautiful, Max. There we go. That's our beautiful butterfly. You like that one, Max? It's got the color orange in it, your favorite. One over here. You shout stop. Okay. Oh, what is this one? This one's a bit of a funny one. Can anyone guess what it is? I'm gonna give you a hint. Look at its long pointy thing coming out of its out of its nose area. And when it's when it bit Max once, it likes the taste of our it likes the taste of our skin. And when it bit Max once, it raised the skin up into a bump and was really itchy. Yes, it's a mosquito. It's a mosquito mosquito, that's right. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's see. Oh, these ones can carry a lot of stuff on their backs that they take back to their, to their colony. It's not a mosquito. It's not a bumblebee. It's an ant. That is an ant. You are right. Good job. Okay, let's see this one. Whoop. Here is our very friendly happy bumblebee likes to buzz from flower to flower in search of that nectar 
that sweet juice that flowers make and it likes to suck it all up and bring it back to its hive to make honey. You're right. Two more, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, this one I forgot about. Do you remember that one, Max? I'll show you. It's a dragonfly, that's right. It's got a long, narrow back end and four beautiful wings, and it likes to hover above water. That's a dragonfly. Good job. Okay, who can guess what this last one is? I'm going to give you a hint. It usually has black dots on its back. And it's a very sweet. It is a ladybug. It's red and we can't see her back right now, but if we could, it would have black dots on it. It's a ladybug, good job. We've learned all sorts of names of different bugs this last few weeks, haven't we? We have, that was a fun one. Okay, Max, we just want to teach a couple of moves to our friends, don't we? Before, we, before we say goodbye. So this is a poem that we came up with, and I want you to try to act it out as we say it, okay? So Max is gonna help a little bit, and it goes like this. Butterfly, butterfly in the sky, floating and gliding and soaring high. Can you float and glide? Show me. Floating and gliding and soaring high. Once a caterpillar creeping low, munching leaves and moving slow. Oh, little butterfly, could you have guessed with the gift of wings, you'd be blessed. So fly, little butterfly, be on your way. Off to great places, today is your day. So we just did floating and gliding and soaring high. And the caterpillar was eating and munching and moving very slow. That's right. So fly, little butterfly, be on your way. Off to great places, today is your day. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye. I'll give you a butterfly kiss on your nose. Max is gonna give me a kiss on my nose. I'll give you one on your ear. Max is gonna give me a kiss on my ear. <gasps> Max is gonna give me, I'll give you one on your knee. And hey, little Max, one from me. Bye-bye, friends. See you next time.